Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. So I have a quick haul here from banggood.com and first I have the stainless steel three piece liquid and powder set. I think it is so cool because it comes with these tops and it is so easy to put your liquids and powders in and just makes everything easy and accessible. So this would definitely be coming in handy. Next, I have this clear stamper and swipe card. I've been wanting a clear stamper so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Next, I have these nail tips. I've been getting requests to do more nails with tips, so I cannot wait to give these a try. They're super long and pointy. All right, so next I have this nail tip stand and I just love that it has this crystal bottom. And for the top, you can use some of that poster tech putty to adhere your um, tips and you know, do your art and practice and all of that good stuff. Next, I have this rose gold chrome powder. I cannot wait to try this out. I think I'm gonna use this for my next design, but it is just so, so gorgeous. And finally, I have another pair of nippers. I forgot that I actually ordered these, but they are so cute. I love that they're iridescent. They are also stainless steel and very sharp and pointy. Nice quality. And I love that it comes with this little case to snap over the top so you won't stab yourself. <laughs> All right, so for this look, I'm using Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic along with this red and gold glitter. Both of these are available at longcareprettynails.com, so I will leave the link down below. Next, I'm using Nail Nails Warm Beige for my nail bed area. And I'm using this red acrylic from gearbest.com. I will leave a link to everything I use down below. so I have already removed my previous nail design and I have prepped my nails applied my nail forms and now I am going to be extending these nails I want them longer and I want a stiletto shape so I'm just going in with the long care pretty nails clear acrylic and applying that to the tip and extending that and making it nice and smooth so next I'm going in with that red acrylic from gearbest.com and I am just doing a very thin layer of that on the nail. I'm basically using this for my base color for the glitter. So next I'm going in with the red and gold glitter and I picked up a small bead of the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic and dipped that into the glitter. And that is how I apply my glitter to the nail and I am just packing it on. I want it to be uh, very, very dense. I, you know, don't want any spaces to show. All right, so moving on to the ring fingernail. Once again, I'm extending the nail with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And then I'm going in with a wash of that red acrylic all over the nail. And once again, packing on that red and gold glitter. And for the chunkier gold pieces, I am just using my brush to place those where I want them to be. And I'm repeating the same thing for my middle finger. So I went in with the red acrylic first. I was supposed to extend the nail, so um, I did this backwards, but it really doesn't matter. 
So I applied the red acrylic over the nail and then I finally realized that I was supposed to extend the nail. So I went ahead and did that. And then applied a little bit more red acrylic and then I'm going in with a red and gold glitter. All right, for my index fingernail, I'm going in with the Nail Nails Warm Beige Acrylic at the nail bed area and bringing that downward. I got a little speck of glitter in there, so I'm just flicking that out. <laughs> and this is going to be a glitter ombre nail, so I don't have to be very precise with the nail bed. All right, so then I'm taking the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic and once again extending this nail. And I actually forgot to go over the nail with the red acrylic, but it kind of doesn't matter because I did a really good job at packing on the glitter so you can't really see through it but yeah I did forget to put on the red acrylic um, but yeah I just went in with the red and gold glitter and I'm just packing that on the tip and bringing it down the, the nail bed area um, to create a nice ombre. And once I have the glitter in place, I'm just going to encapsulate this with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And I do work with the clear acrylic a little more wet than usual because I just want to make sure it seeps into all of the crevices of the glitter. And I just want it to be super clear and just have that great clarity. And it just comes out more clearer when you work with it slightly wetter. Um, you don't get as many air bubbles and it's just super clear. So I just encapsulate all of the nails with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And because these nails are mainly built up, I'm not applying a very thick layer of clear because I don't want these nails to be super bulky. All right, so after the acrylic has set, I take the nail forms off and I'm doing my shaping and filing. And if you're interested in this nail dust collector, it is from Gearbest and I will leave the link down below. So after that, I go in with this medium safety bit from Poochie's Nails and I just work that around the cuticle area to make it nice and flush. If you're interested in the nail drill I'm using, it is also from Gearbest.com. I will leave a link down below. So this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm creating my 3D Santa. So first I start off with a large bead of the Nail Nails Warm Beige Acrylic and work it into a large circle. 
and I also add more of the warm beige acrylic to smooth it out and just make it nice and neat. Next, I'm going in with Tammy Taylor's Whitest White Acrylic and I'm applying that to the top of the circle. Um, this is going to be like the cotton fluff for the hat. So first I put down like a foundation um, of where like I want the hat to be. And then I'm going in with chunkier beads to create that cotton fluffy effect. And then I'm going in with the red acrylic from Gearbest and I am using that to create the top of the hat. Surprisingly, this red acrylic was super easy to work with and it was not grainy or gritty like some of the color acrylics can be. It was really smooth to work with so I'm really shocked about that. And then I place a large bead of white at the top of the hat. For Santa's beard, I'm going in with beads of white acrylic and I am just placing them in a triangle shape. And then I take a medium sized bead of the warm beige acrylic and place that for the nose. And then taking more of the Tammy Taylor whitest white acrylic, I'm placing two beads for the eyes. Next, I'm taking this white and black gel polish from Love Jazzery, and I'm gonna use that to paint on the eyes. And I'm just using a large dotting tool to paint on the um, black part. And I cure that in my LED lamp for 30 seconds, and then I go in with the white gel polish, and I go ahead and cure that as well. Next, I'm going in with the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And I apply this to my nails and I just love how this glitter comes to life. It is so, so pretty and it is perfect for the holiday season. So before I cure, I go ahead and apply these Swarovski and Iridescent Crystals. The Iridescent Crystals are available on my website. I will leave a link down below. So I'll go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm going to apply gel polish to my Santa Claus nail. And I'm applying a thin layer to the Santa Claus because I don't want to lose any of the detail. So after applying the gel polish and curing for 60 seconds, I apply my cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. Just a very cute Christmas design. I love how the Santa Claus turned out. This is my first time trying a 3D Santa Claus and I think it turned out amazing. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this Christmas design. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. We're currently having a sale, which is 20% off the entire site. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.